What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Jim Cornette on Vince McMahon's resignation from TKO slash WWE. Now I haven't checked this video out, but I did check out his uh, uh, initial reaction to when the uh, court documents um, were released. And if anybody knows Vince from back in the day when he was working with him, it would definitely be Jim Cornette. Granted, he was surprised with a lot of the stuff that that those court documents said only because he didn't remember Vince being so open about certain things. Like he seemed as if, you know, Vince was more of a, you know, more reserved, you know, he would say certain things, but you wouldn't really know too much about his personal life, especially his sexual escapades. That's what um, um, Jim was pretty much saying. So it was quite a surprise to see you know what he was potentially getting into with this uh young lady that he employed a few years back so i, I definitely want to see what he has to say about vince resigning and you know his thoughts on things um but appreciate all love and support you guys have shown on the channel you guys have been running up the views running up uh the subscriptions i, I really do appreciate you guys it's been a crazy uh few weeks uh at the beginning of 2024 especially wrestling related so we're gonna get right into this one not gonna waste no more time and let's see what jim Cornette has to say man the problem becomes now that well i, I guess we we've jumped ahead over kind of the lead vince is gone um he resigned well, how many things did he resign from the executive chairman of tko and was he on a board of something did he sell all the share yeah, he's the chair he was the executive chairman of the board i don't well i don't think you can just sell that many shares just like just sell everything right now i think doesn't that that takes a while to gather up and liquidate right but he's officially not holding any position of you know, uh, of, of not only of employment, but of ceremonially on boards or in any way with the company. Because as soon as this, what was it like? Maybe four hours later after the news came out of the lawsuit, Slim Jim said, uh, uh, we are deciding mm -hmm. to pause our promotional activity for the Royal Rumble the following day. And you know, that had to be some fucking money. Mm -hmm. And once again, shout out to Slim Jim for getting things in motion because once they were the first sponsors to bow out you knew other sponsors were going to bow out i want to say the slim jim ads were being presented during the um uh, um the um the fatal four-way match um because i know uh, L uh la night is part of the slim jim promotional material stuff stuff like that i think her i mean la night and um uh, bianca bella they're they're like part of the promotional stuff so they were they had it shown throughout the entire match they even had like a slim gym area people had the shirts and the slim gyms so it's the fact that they pulled out because you know obviously they wanted to kind of play it safe then vince resigns and then as soon as the news that vince resigns they they were back on board this all happened within like a day they were not playing and it's crazy how money talks. Money talks, man. And I'm sure all the rest of the board members are like, hey, we, whoa. If they going to pull out, other people are going to start pulling out and asking questions. So, Because it's the number two pay-per-view, and they were the big title sponsors. And what was it? Was it a half hour after that we got the news of Vince's resignation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... It's very interesting how that happened. The day before, the Wall Street Journal article was published. The complaint started going around a little bit after that. Other news uh, organizations started picking up the story. CNN was running with it all day. I saw it yep. on CNBC as well. Hell, I'm starting to see a lot of YouTubers that I didn't even know were like, you know, into wrestling or, you know, really concerned themselves with wrestling. Hell, a lot of YouTubers that didn't even really talk about wrestling, they're all covering this whole Vince McMahon thing. And that's the crazy thing because I think a lot of us grew up on wrestling and I think a lot of people don't watch it anymore, but we all know who Vince McMahon is. All of us. We all know who Vince McMahon is. So this is a very big thing. It was different 
when he initially resigned a few years ago um, because of the, you know, the hush money situation where he retired. My bad. But this is different. This is not retiring. This is resigning. And because the the court documents are just so egregious, people are looking like, yo, what the hell is going on? Vince put out a statement. Mm -hmm. Or his side did saying that it was all false and he was going to vigorously defend himself. And well, it, it was all, all either false or distorted truths. Yeah. He, he, there was that caveat in there. Alternative facts. Truth. Yeah. Alternative, yeah, alternative facts. facts. Yeah. But then TKO put out a statement and it was kind of the opposite tone. Vince McMahon is not in charge here. Woo. He's not running anything. And then as soon as the first sponsor, and it's a big one, they just announced, I think over yeah. the summer, like the biggest sponsorship deal ever with slim jim when they announced they were pausing it they did not wait vince nope. was gone right away and mm -mm. at this point how could vince have any friends on that board or maybe friends is not word anyone who's sympathetic to him being there nah. it's now a complete liability for him to have anything to do with the company yep <laughs> yeah nah it's gotten to that point where it's like nope is they they can lose more money having him there can cost them millions of dollars so once again it's all about money at the end of the day they don't give a damn about what you've created you know now it's like well we're trying to expand and the i your name the fact that they they've wiped him on the wwe um wwe website they crisp and wad him he's gone vince mcmahon the guy that's pretty much essentially created this thing this juggernaut of a company, not created, but he's expanded it, obviously. It's not on the website. That's insanity when you really think about it. He's not on the website. Vince, Vince, uh, Vince, uh, Vince McMahon is not there. That's crazy. You have to wonder if the name McMahon could be used anymore for this company. <laughs> nope. Well, and, and that's, they had to know as soon as that news came out, they already had to be talking because mm -hmm. th it was going to be a waterfall of sponsors dropping yep. out Ooh. if they hadn't made an announcement. Yep. And if they, you know, hadn't nipped it in the bud. Yeah, people were So as soon as that news like came flies. out, I'm sure they were, whoever needed to talk to whoever was talking to them. Mm -hmm. And they probably said, well, let's see if anything happened. And boom, something happened. And there you go. But that they would have cost him a fortune. And, and like you said, I think, you know, it might be good if Stephanie came back. Mm. Stephanie might be the McMahon. <laughs> that, well, but think about this. In hindsight, she has dodged Vince every, yeah. every chance she could for the last two years, right? Mm -hmm. She left. Then all of a sudden he had to leave, so she came back, and when he came back, she left again. Mm -hmm. And was was Triple H? Did he not at one point vote that maybe Vince shouldn't come back? Vince, Stephanie, and Nick Khan, all three of them voted for him not to return. Vince had the power to override everyone. Yep. Yeah. Well, but so maybe she kind of was trying to do the right thing, or at least. It wasn't you doing know, the wrong thing. She's in a tough position. Triple H, and we could talk later on about what he said during the Royal Rumble press conference or what he didn't say or how he tried to address this or didn't address it, however you see it. Stephanie went on TV. If Stephanie, and again, we don't know who the unnamed executives in the complaint are, but if Stephanie's one of them, yeah. or if she, as a member of the board, was privy to the investigation and what its contents were, and if the investigation showed any of this, and we don't know if it did, because if they didn't speak to Janelle Grant or her, her attorney, it's kind of like the AEW investigation. It didn't speak to Lucy. It's not a real investigation then. But mm -hmm. if their investigation showed any of this stuff, and Stephanie knew about it, and as, a, as an act that wasn't publicly known, did some things behind the scenes, including but not limited to walking back and leaving, coming back to help, leaving as soon as her dad came back, she still went on TV and led the audience in a thank you, Vince chant. I remember that. <clears throat> I remember that. She went on TV and said, thank you, Vince. Even though he was retiring 
for, you know, hush money. You just didn't know the details. So that can hurt her too. Because people ain't going to forget that. Like, wait a minute, you went on TV. And the question is, how much did she really, really know about what her father was doing? Granted, I do believe she she's, obviously she knows him. She grew up with him. And just the stuff that he was trying to get her to do on television was wild. So I'm willing to bet she has some suspicions of something going on. The question is, how much? Because once again, when he came back, she was gone. She said, I'm out. So that mean, leads me to believe she definitely knew something. The question is, how much of it? And would she been able to really do anything considering Vince was running shit? Doesn't matter if you my my child or not. I, should, I still run this company. I still can do and say whatever I want because who's going to stop me? That's fucked up. Mm. Like that, mm. that's fucked up. That one. There are stories, and I'll say this because enough of them are going around, we could talk about it, but we don't know how true they are. Mm -hmm. There are stories going around now that one of the reasons, or in part, maybe Shane McMahon had previously left WWE going back mm -hmm. almost 20 years because of issues with his dad, because of his dad's behavior, and that Shane wasn't like that. Mm. And that Shane didn't want to do those things, whatever those things were at that time. That can make sense. And that Shane and his dad, because they were so different personality-wise, it's caused a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. And that's why Shane wasn't really a part or privy to any of this stuff, you would think. Although he did come back to the company, he wasn't an executive, he was just talent. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and Shane... It is obviously more different now than Vince. Shane had a lot of similarities with Vince in that, you know, the energy and the uh, the physical fitness, you know, uh, fanaticism and, you know, the gung-ho business, blah, 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 good stuff. But I've said Shane is a nice guy and he's got a nice wife and nice kids. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure. The other explanation was also very plausible that Shane realized he wasn't going to be, because I don't think Shane's aptitude for the wrestling business was mm -hmm. off the charts. Shane knew he wasn't going to be his dad in terms of running the company and went mm -hmm. off to do his own thing. That's entirely plausible. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense, too, because even though, obviously, Shane was a big part of, you know, the attitude there and the stuff that he was doing, the risks he was taking for the company and for his dad, but at the same time, it does make sense you never really got the sense that once Vince hands it down or maybe passes away that Shane was going to take over. You never really got that sense because you, I don't know. It's just, you could tell just by how Vince, his mannerisms and Shane, Shane's there to make his father proud, you know, and, and show the boys in the back that, you know what I'm saying? He can, he appreciates what they do and he's willing to go out there to entertain people, but he never gave off the vibes of, yeah, let me go run this billion dollar company, you know? I think at that point, you know, I'm not saying Shane might not have known that, you know, Vince was trying to, you know, inappropriately integrate himself with other women or whatever, but I, I can't believe that Vince would have even tried to pitch Mm -hmm. any of that to shane yeah could you believe yeah. that if either of his kids got wind of any of his behavior again the behavior isn't just cheating i can i can i can believe i guess if i sit down him pitching this to laurinitis because he didn't give a shit mm -hmm. i don't think vince would have wanted to disrupt his son's entire family life and whatever the fuck mm -hmm. and go ahead now and ask me what you were gonna ask me well, no, I mean, that kind of sums up a lot of it, but the family stuff's interesting because Triple H is still in charge. And based on the complaint, it appears that people knew something was going on in that office. Yeah. They knew that Vince had a girl on payroll mm -hmm. for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. Who knows how much anyone knew? Well, who knows what Vince shared with what people? Mm -hmm. Are we supposed to think that John Laurinaitis and his physical therapist Nah, are the two people he trusts the most in the world? Vince definitely said, with this kind of stuff? said something to more. How did that door open with him and Johnny Ace? Jesus. So we don't know. And, you know, he's, he's talking about this stuff with Brock. Is there anyone else he's trying to impress by showing photos of someone who didn't want their photos around there or talking about someone like this? We don't know any of this. Mm -hmm. The big thing is we don't know who knew what. 
Mm-hmm. The complaint has a lot of unnamed people. Was Kevin Dunn, mm-hmm. who was based on everything everyone always said before this, someone who was always there because of his relationship with Vince, mm-hmm. because he knew how to work within Vince's system, that he was maybe the second most powerful person in the company at times. Mm-hmm. What did he know? John Laurinaitis was involved in this. And, l- and let me let me say one thing here about Kevin Dunn. I'm not saying that he didn't know anything or didn't know anything or whatever, and I could believe either story. Probably I could believe more that he did know everything mm-hmm. and was, you know, he would never betray Vince, but Mm-mm. I can pretty much guarantee goddamn to you that he probably was not involved. Mm-hmm. I don't uh, never had long personal conversations with Kevin Dunn, but I'm I'm thinking he's like a, a fucking person who would live live vicariously through stories, if anything. Mm-hmm. And also, Lord. also the timeline of events. I mean, a lot of this takes place during the pandemic. <clears throat> Laurinaitis was all of a sudden made the head of talent relations again in 2021, remember? Uh-huh. No one thought he would ever have that role again or that he should. That was just based off things that people heard that wasn't this. And yep. all of a sudden he was the head of talent relations again. Yeah, man. Uh, it's not, once again, it's... It's crazy. It's crazy to just see how someone can legitimately, and once again, it's still speculations, but a lot of these speculations don't sound as far-fetched as some of the stories we've heard about Vince. So it's really crazy that someone really felt they were just untouchable, really felt that they could never be touched, that they got so sloppy with just you know letting other people know what's going on most people kind of keep things hush hush they'll tell certain people here and here and there but vince was actively letting people know that that shouldn't know anything what he was doing to this girl and what this girl would do for him so i don't know once again it's all alleged but hey it was so damning that he had to step away because the board member's like, yeah, you got to go. You're costing us millions of dollars. This ain't it. So comment down below. Let me know, man, some other videos you guys want me to check out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on all the recent videos. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.